Hello and welcome in another video in my Rasu Backup channel. In this video I want to give you a quick overview about the capabilities and features you will get if you install and use Rasu Backup. There is already a much more detailed video available which takes more than 20 minutes and this is just to give you an overview and shouldn't take longer than 5 minutes. Raspberry Backup will give you the capability to create a complete backup of a running Raspberry. And you also can create this backup in a, on a regular base. So you just install Raspberry, configure it once, and then forget it. There is no user intervention required, and uh, it will take, well, a backup every week, every day. You can just configure the interval. If there are any important services, you can stop them before the backup is created and it will be started again. The restored image will boot up immediately, so you don't have to ca take any customization if you restore the image. Just restore it, boot up the image and everything will be fine. You also will be able to restore the backups on Windows because, well, there are also people uh, who are used to use Windows and, well, enjoy to restore the backup also on Windows. Raspi Backup is open source and for free, so just install it, use it and enjoy it. But nevertheless, I appreciate any donations in order to honor the development support activities. You also can create quick delta backups and also lengthy full backups. So it's up to you which backup type you actually configure in the setup and then the appropriate backup type will be created. There are two different backup strategies available. First of all, that's the easiest one. Just keep a given number of backups. So you maybe decide to keep 5, 10, 30 backups. Or you can use the small backup strategy, which is also known as a grandfather, father and son principle. So you are able to backup and save the last seven uh, daily backups, then the last four weekly backups, last monthly backups, 12 for example, and also three yearly backups if you actually want to do this. Just in case you have any planned updates, it's a good idea to create a kind of snapshot so whenever something works <laughs> not the way you expect it to work or the system even doesn't start up again, when you applied some updates. You can restore the snapshot and well start again and hopefully we'll be able to install and update the system in a better way that it will boot without a restore of the backup. There are more than 270 messages available and uh, I tried to explain in these messages configuration errors, environment errors, and also runtime errors. And uh, they hopefully will be able to help you to fix these errors and to identify these errors. There are pages available on my website which help. Uh, you can just insert the message number and you will find the root cause for the error and also uh, possible ways to fix the issue. In particular, uh, whenever you have any issues and you don't know <coughs> what to do, well, uh, there is an anonymized debug log created by Raspberry Backup, and this then can be used to report issues and help me to create, to locate the root cause for the issue and also to create a fix. Notifications are also created by Rusty Backup. So if there is any new beta available or any new release available, you can then install the beta, test the beta, 
and help in the development and uh, test of the beta and then later on if there is the official release available just install this release. It's a good idea to test the restore uh, well, let's say every month or every three months, and so Vivek also will remind you to execute restores. Well, again, there's a menu driven installer available, which actually well use the same infrastructure. It looks like Raspi Config, and uh, this one allows you to configure the most important options of Raspberry Backup and then create a backup in let's say five minutes. First of all you have to define the backup target which can be a disk, SSD, network, drive like some or NFS and anything else. You also select the backup type which is either DD, TAR, both of them are full backups or an rsync backup, which is a full backup if it's the first backup, and then incremental backups. The time interval of the backup run, the default is one week. You also can define a notification email, which will receive the backup run messages. Um, you also can configure the services to stop and to start. Supported messages languages are English, Finnish, French, Chinese, or German. And uh, well, if you install Raspberry Pi on a different system, then the default is English. There are much more options available, uh, which cannot be configured by the installer, but just edit a config file and uh, use these features. For example, you can use Telegram instead of emails or also together with emails and uh, well, just visit the page um, and check what features are also available. I already got a comment uh, well, <laughs> much <laughs> multiple times that uh, there's much too too much documentation available so just visit my website and um, there you find a lot of documentation about Raspberry Backup. If you, for example, want to know how Raspberry Backup can support a Synology or how rsync is used, then just go to the top right corner on the web page, insert the search argument, and then you will be presented all pages which contain this search argument. There exists a detailed description of all options. Um, on the slide on the right lower corner, you see the menu about uh, from Raspberry Backup, and you, there you can see the user's guide, which allows to read anything about the options. There's also a FAQ and I strongly recommend to read this one because there I wrote down all the gotchas I got uh, about errors and configuration errors and runtime errors and so on users of Raspberry Backup made. There's also, that's what I already talked about, <coughs> a page available. It's called um, Error Messages. Um, there they have your list of all error message numbers and the root cause and how to get rid of these error messages. Another page describes how you can use the Synology as a backup space, how to configure all this stuff. Um, a lot of time I got feedback from users, how actually does rsync work with hard links? And there's another page available, which hopefully is able to explain uh, how hard links work with rsync. And uh, well, at the finally, there's also a page available which uh, lists all the different pages which are available about Raspberry Backup. It's at the bottom of the menu, all articles about Raspberry Backup features.
So let's talk about support of Raspi Backup. Um, I actually support Raspi Backup and so whenever you create an issue you usually will get a reply in one or two days. My preferred support channel for questions and issues is GitHub. Um, and you also should attach or drag and drop the log file uh, whenever you have an issue because this will allow me to understand what's going on on your system and well, help you to either find customization issues or to fix any issues in Raspberry Backup. And keep in mind registration is, uh, is free. If you have any just questions, no issues, just questions, then visit Facebook because there is a Facebook uh, page available or create any any comments on the website pages. News are distributed or published on Facebook and Twitter. So whenever there's a new release available or there are any new features implemented, then you will be informed on these two channels. Okay, so that's it. And uh, I hope you will enjoy to use Raspberry Backup and uh, will not have to care about backups anymore in the future.